welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy makes squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my let's play of dot hack gu last recode. We have to invite Coon and do stuff and junk. It's fine. Roger that. Let's get going to Kestrel. All right, let's do it. Why doesn't Pi join us? Just saying. All right, so Kestrel. You get to meet with their guild leader, Agabi. Let's see what's going down. This is their headquarters? I know, right? I'm jealous. I want to I want to be there. I want that to be our headquarters. Canard's just got an at home. An original design from CC Corp, huh? Well, aren't they treated like kings? Kings it's of death. It's not just for show. It's possible to use this area as a simple meeting place. But the Guildmaster can also place monsters within the area and use it as a training ground for members. That's cool. You know a lot. That's pretty cool. I wish you had something like that. That would be pretty neat. Alrighty. Well, there's a bunch of peeps... Wander around the outskirts. Let's get our butts on up to the inskirts. That that had some connotations that it was not intended. My apologies. Oh boy, it's our favorite friend. Oh, <laughs> look who's here. Now, what would someone who's already left Kestrel want with us? Huh? Is that true, Coon? <laughs> you didn't know? That esteemed sir there used to be none other than Kestrel's assistant guild master. Cool. <sighs> I left because of our differences of opinion and how we felt the guild should be managed. Well, anyway. We came here to demand the immediate cessation of all canard bullying. Cessation. What? Canard? <laughs> but um, I don't know anything about them. Hey! You heard of him? Nope. I sure haven't. Wait a sec. Wasn't the stupid little beast player we bullied the last time from that guild? Oh, you mean that really stupid looking one? <laughs> the one that fell apart and cried after we threatened him a little? Oh, yeah. That was funny. <laughs> yep, that would be him. That would be us. Canard. You bastards! Calm down. Don't let their taunts get under your skin, Haseo. They just want a legitimate reason to PK you. I like they could. Damn. He's clapping. <laughs> hmm. Is that all? Are you all done? I want to fight him. Well, sure has been a while, Gabi. <laughs> it sure has. Now, what were we supposed to talk about again? I already explained it in the email I sent you. <laughs> it is my policy not to read emails that are more than three lines long. Sounds about right. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, that's right. It just slipped my mind what kind of a guy you were. Man, you've changed so little that it almost ticks me off. Uh, oh yeah? Well, you too. <laughs> hey, beast guy. Do Let's... something about those damn PKers in your guild. They keep on stalking and bullying my guild members for no reason. Oh, You're their reason. guild master. Take some responsibility for their actions. Why not let those that want to PK PK? Yeah, pretty much. What the? And PKKers can do as they want to. If you don't want to die, then run! Yeah. <laughs> I agree with him. That, too, is the way of the world! It's just less melodrama. That is the policy of our guild. Get it? Lord Gabi isn't a chicken wuss master like you. A chicken wuss However... master. Whoa! Wait, when did he move from the throne? I will not allow for boredom if you've only got boring endings prepared. Uh, uh... What? 
Haseo, you're participating in the next Demon Palace tournament, right? Yep. Yeah. What a coincidence! We're in that tournament ourselves. Yeah, we, we know. We've been over this And our first round times. opponent's name is spelled H-A-S-E-O. Uh -huh. What a coincidence, huh? Clearly. Player killers, player killer killers. Basically, they're all battle freaks. It's not like me to make noble promises. So then, why don't we just settle all of our petty differences in the tournament? Sounds like a plan Bordeaux. to me. Bordeaux! Bordeaux! Yes, Gabi? Will you win? <clears throat> yes, of course I will. So you promise you'll win? Yes. Promises are only promises when they're kept. Yeah, yeah, that's generally what makes you them promises. You know what will happen if you lose, don't you? W what's that? Yes, yes, sir. If you, I win you our the match, clip of toenails again? That's then gross. you'll never bother Canard ever again. Uh, of course. Nice hair through your face. Huh. That's painful and unsatisfying. That isn't like you. How can I trust you? Where's the guarantee that you'll keep your promise? That's not your concern. Promises we make with Gabi are indeed absolute to us. Uh huh. If we break a promise with Gabi, there will no longer be a place for us in Kestrel. Exactly. Exactly. We're leaving. Negimaru, Grain. Negimaru. We've got no time left until the tournament. Bordeaux. Bordeaux. Yes? Now you're going to turn and face your king? A cornered beast like you are now is a very beautiful thing. Dude, that was creepy. <laughs> Thanks. That might have been the creepiest line I've that ever heard. That should take care of it. <sighs> what is it? No. Uh, it's nothing. Gabi. Huh? What? He's gone. Quick guy. G -g 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 Gobby. He's gone. When did he? When that didn't he? Gobby guy. It felt like he already knew everything that happened. He might seem like a bit of a fool, but he knows all the vital points. Okay. He didn't become the head of the 5,000 strong Kestrel for nothing. That is a lot of people to deal with. It seems useless to negotiate any further. Let's go back to Kennard's at home. Sure. Canard at home. Uh, hopefully we can get through the tournament, the arena, this time around. But first, let's go back to Canard's at home. Yeah, there we go. Go, 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 go. Such long loadings. The canard. Hey, what's with all the sad faces? Come on! <laughs> if we crush them at the tournament, then everything will be resolved once and for all. <laughs> That's not it. Now what? Then what is it? Did you what's wet the bed the again? Come now? on, buddy. Gotta get over this. this. This isn't the world that I know. This isn't what I want to play. Um, what? The world that I know of is one in which everyone is happy and smiling all the time. You need to lay off the drugs, if, buddy. If I should wave at someone, even the people I don't know will wave back at that me. That is most assuredly a fantasy world. When I watch the shop, it was a lot of fun just sitting there, watching everybody coming and going. Before I knew it, there I was, smiling and happy, just like everyone around me. I was happy, too. Gaspard. Seriously, dude, lay off the drugs. But now I don't get it anymore. I don't like this feeling. <laughs> it's gone. I don't know how to smile at anyone anymore. <laughs> I mean, I don't like this anymore. <laughs> this isn't the world that I know. I hate it. What in the heck is this? So the awful. world just isn't fun anymore. It's not. Oh, boy. 
That's right. The only reason why these two are playing is because it's fun. I totally forgot. I'm sorry. I went too far. Syllabus, take care of Gaspard. Yeah. I'll stay with him for a while. It's be hard to win the arena if we're... I might not be able to participate in the tournament. I'm kind of depressed about it, too. I'm sorry. Yeah, well. Team Haseo with Adley. Haseo! What's up, blue hair? I know how you feel, but it'd be better if you withdrew this time. I didn't tell you this, but... What? Well, we GU members are participating in this tournament as well, so... Heh, crush you too. I guess you guys are going to be targeting entrance. That's right. Not only is he an Epitaph user, but he's also connected to Ida. That's fair. So naturally, we're very interested in that. We've tried to contact him, but unfortunately, he has never responded to us once. He's alert. We can't even keep him under surveillance. This time, we're going to have to take extreme measures. Hmm. Well, that must be pretty tough for you. But look, this has got nothing to do with me. Do you really think so? But keep in mind, he is an Epitaph user. You're forgetting, Haseo. Your character level is still low, and you still don't have an avatar. At your current state, you won't even defeat Bordeaux, let alone Andrance. Maybe. If you're worried about Gaspard, don't be. I'll take care of it somehow. So just leave this one to me. <sighs> Haseo? Why don't you just join us, or let us join you? We are all members of I'm, the GU. I'm kind of surprised. Huh? This is just an online game, right? And yet... Gaspard. So he was really crying, huh? That was weird. <sighs> he should quit if he doesn't like it. Are you sure? Do you really think him quitting would solve things? And don't call this place just an online game. There are some things in the world that you can only do here. Sure. I mean, that's part of the reason why you're still logging in here, too. Am I right? Marat? Marat? You're right. Kuhn, I've decided that I'm not going to withdraw from the tournament. Ha! In your face. <sighs> Fine. Do what you want. Don't worry. That's what I was planning to do. Obviously, why would you even? Uh... Uh, we have new mail, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what is happening? I don't. Uh, I don't even know anymore. This is not the world that I know. It's it's a little over the top and the ridiculousness, but whatever. Whatever. Let's just roll with it. All right. Tournament secrets. Santares, I'll be waiting for you at Macanoo's Chaos Gate. Sweet. Sorry. I want to stay with Gaspard for a while. He's been kind of depressed ever since that happened. I'm sorry, I just don't think I can fight in the arena, or well in the arena now. I know how hard we all work to get there, but I just can't. I'm really sorry. Honestly, I'm still kind of in shock too. I'm scared of fighting Bordeaux. Cheer up. I heard about Gaspard and Syllabus from Kuhn. I'm sorry things turned out this way. I hope Gaspard and Syllabus will feel better soon. Sincerely, Adelie. P.S. Don't take too much alone. Feel free to call on me at any time, whether it's for the arena or just going to an area. I'll be sure to come running. And finally, Pi. Can you tell me more about Pi? Pi works for CC Corp. She interviewed me when I joined GU. It looks... Or it looks like her real job has something to do with programming or engineering. At any rate, while I'm sure that Yada and Pi have investigated everything there is to know about the both of us in real life, we know almost nothing about them. Of course, that doesn't bother me too much these days. Anyway, I was really, 
I was really tiring running into... It was really tiring running into Gabby again. You were in Kestrel? Or Gabby? You were in Kestrel, yeah. I'm curious. Alright. So, with all that, I guess we're going to be meeting that dude. And he's probably going to join us in Syllabus's place. Or at least do something to help us. I don't know. It's all very strange. It's all kind of like one bit of a tragedy after the next bit of a tragedy after the next. It's just like it all kind of compounds upon itself. It's fine though, I guess. There he is. There's Long Nose McGee. So, you want to get stronger, huh? Sure. Yeah. Then now is the time to awaken the true power as an adept rogue. Yeah, let's do it. You mean job extension? What? You bet. With a job extension, yes. you will be able to gain access to higher class jobs. All you need to do is complete a special quest. Sweet. I know that already. It's been so long I'd forgotten about it. Then actually you don't know about it. Long time, huh? Please, you don't have to say it. Huh? What? I know. I know all about it, kid. All you about don't what? have to tell me. I already know about one or two or three or four of your old immature memories. That's too damn many. How many have you got? Besides, I don't have any old immature memories. What does that even mean? <laughs> don't be shy now. What? Anyway, gather information from mails and forums, then go to the quest shop. Then, accept the special quest. Fine. Right now, I need all the power I can get. Uh-huh. Oh, boy. Yeah. Mm. Guess we won't be doing that arena thing after all, guys and gals. It's alright. Forums and stuff. Good. It's, it's totally fine. And he knows about some of my immature stuff. There is an important update in the world section of the community forum. Alright. Job extension. CC Corp. Dear Haseo. Uh -huh. uh, job extension event has been unlocked starting today. How convenient. The conditions to participate in the event are as follows. You must be an adept rogue. Less, at least level 20. You must attempt it alone. We hope to see many of you rogues who have not yet undergone a job extension. Note, job extension events are open only for a limited time. Please check the schedule and make plans to participate in the event ahead of time. Uh-huh. And community forums! <laughs> it's fine. The world. Job extension. Kagari, finally, it's finally here. It's time for the job extension event, everyone. Uh, this email was waiting for me when I got back from work. Wee! All right, it's Soul Day. Hmm, is that a new quest? I'll hurry up and make a new character and help you out. Don't worry, I'll contact everyone. Oh boy. Count me in too to obtain our second form. We shall fight together, says Sagittarius. And failed. I, I can't figure it out. Ugh, my head hurts. Please, someone give me a hint. Being an adept rogue is tough. As a harvest cleric, I'm glad that I didn't become a rogue, but you get to equip all sorts of weapons and change your looks, so that's way cool. Being a rogue is tough. Well, even if it doesn't work out, there's always next time. Keep your head up. By the way, I've been wondering about this. Don't you think that rogues have the most problems with the game system than any other class? Does CC Corp have something against them? Uh, but that's why they're weak. Good luck to everyone who's going for the job extension. I'm cheering for you. Rumor is, it's because they made the class up on the spur of the moment. Many users wanted to see a class that can use both physical and magic attacks, such as Magic Knights. So they had to add the Adept Rogue. I'm not too sure about that. It's true you can do everything, but I think they just raised the hurdle because of it. Huh? What do you mean? Is there a connection between them being able to use a lot of weapons and rogues being weak? Detail later. Yeah, a huge connection, but it's kind of off the subject from this thread. 
So I'll start a new thread and try to explain. Finished it. I did it, everyone. Me is Soul Day. I did it. I finally cleared job extension. It doesn't matter if it's an event or a quest. Just leave it to me and I'll take care of it. Just like that. Can I give some love to all you quivering little lambs? The keyword in this event is Whirlpool. If you get stuck on strategy, just remember that keyword. I'm sure you'll be able to clear it easily. Okay. Anyone opening chests? That's interesting. That's not the one I wanted to read. How do I do it? Kick them open. Read the manual. Is that a joke? That's wrong. No, it's not a joke. I just started playing the world two weeks ago. I know that you normally just kick them, but there are some that don't open when you kick them. Huh? Details, please. I just punched in some area words at random and wound up in a cave. At the back of it was a treasure. I kicked it, but nothing happened. There was no system message, and the treasure chest didn't change at all. Absolutely nothing happened at all. That's a bug. Maybe it's like... Maybe it's some kind of event. Was there anything else strange about the cave? Like monsters or something? Oops. There we go. It was a narrow dungeon with only one path. There were several monsters. There was one treasure chest. Uh, area... You've been pwned. You've been pwned! Sorry. Uh, what's the area word for that place? Okay. Interesting. Okay. I guess that's interesting. I'm, maybe I'm wrong. I feel like it's mildly interesting. Let's read a new story and then we'll call it close to this episode, guys and gals. It's been a weird one. Free, free streaming will investigate the hottest topics for you. Welcome to Online Jack, the no-holds-barred information program that brings you the hottest topics. Our star reporter, Salvador Ihara will bring you all the dirt you want to know. And here is this week's Jack Target, Doll Syndrome. Doll Syndrome is a mysterious illness that is spreading amongst the elementary school students. Our online Jack investigators will lock on to Tachiro Sugai, the noted professor and author of online games are turning our children into dolls. The dangers of Doll Syndrome. Okay, everyone, let's call our Salvador Ihara. We already watched that video. His email is exposed. We watched most of these things. Alright, here we are. CC Japan announces new model M2D. CC Japan CyberConnect Japan announces uh, announced a new model of M2D micro monocle display. Okay. The M2D has been developed as the next generation of HMDs, head mounted displays. Previous models have suffered from various imbalances such as high performance technology and a heavy awkward helmet or goggle types that were lacking in audio visual capabilities. However, this new generation, HMD, features all the comfort of light goggle display together with AV performance outperforms various helmet types. It features a it features a standard 1280 by 1024 full color projection display. It's a little dated, right guys and girls? complete with transparency option and high quality audio immersion thanks to its new Omnisphere system. Its default usage is monocle mode, a mode where the screen display is displayed in only one lens but is capable of switching into double, double lens mode, allowing you to enjoy a fully immersive virtual world. Customer service is also excellent with regular updates and complimentary software. I personally recommend the software Automatic Broad Interpretation. It allows you to select objects in front of you and provides easy access to information about them. It has already been selected as the standard equipment for CC Japan's online game, The World R2. Plans for it to be used in other company projects are said to be in the works. It's a bit pricey with a suggested price of $420, really, but it is worth it. I can't wait for its release, Impulse. And let's watch the movie. Display your world. For business or for entertainment, the new M2D Micro Monocle Display now on sale. Once you're freed from your mobile, the net opens up in front of your eyes. Cool. 
Well, there you go, guys and gals. There you go. All right, so we'll look at more stuff as we go. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time with more crazy sauce from the crazy sauce maker itself. Dot hack, GU, last recode. Until then, my name's Bumpy Mix Squiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. Bye.